the Lord will rebuke Satan because of your jurisdiction. There is a territory God has given you to control. There is a place God has given you to manage. And because of that business, because of that ministry, listen, sometimes God will keep you alive because of a church, will keep you alive because of a ministry. Sometimes God will keep you alive because of a man of God. Sometimes God will keep you alive because of a region. Come on, clap your hands and shout yes and praise. When we were children, anytime clothing were dirty, we gathered all the clothing together. They would come and take this clothing and clean them, iron them, and return them. I grew up under a mother who knew how to handle filthy garments. The reason the church is looking so weak is that we are the only people in this world who don't know what to do with filthy garments. You know what we do with filthy garments? We put it on Facebook. We put it on WhatsApp. We gossip with it. We go everywhere with it. We use it to attack one another. But oh, the witches know what to do with filthy garments. The wizards and the diviners know what to do with filthy garments. The worldly people, they know what to do with filthy garments. We are the only people in this world, Christians. We cannot handle filthy garments as soon as we see filthy garments we say not anointed not a child of oil but this was a son of oil standing by the god of the whole earth and his garments were filthy and god said take away the filthy garments now change his garments for him and put a mitre upon his head i came to declare to somebody here today who is a child of oil a son of oil a daughter of oil and you are losing your confidence before god because you think your garments are filthy i came to announce to you today that God is changing your garments uh, and God is giving you new garments and he's putting a mitre of glory upon your head. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, shout it! We don't know how to handle filthy garments. So you know what? Our lifespan is very short. People that come into the kingdom and they carry the oil, after one year, two years, they are not there again because after one mistake, we crucify them and deny them resurrection. On the hill, far away, stood an old ragged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the tears are for the world of lost sinners was saved. I will cling to the rugged cross and exchange it someday for a So you know what people, sometimes when I hear stories about people, I ask myself, did you hear something about David? I say yes. Abraham, was he perfect? No. Jacob, was he a perfect man? No. Then the Lord will ask me, some of the things Abraham did, if a pastor did it today, will you be okay? Like his wives. Some of the things Jacob did. So you know what? 
I have learned to receive from everybody. I've learned to receive from everybody. I, I, I believe we must become experts in dealing with filthy garments. Oh, one of the songs I love because it just tears me up. And I look at the vessel who did that song. Mm. Who is like you, Lord? Lord you know, dear. dear. Much less love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world could satisfy. Jesus, you are my cup that will run dry. Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love, say. Much less love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world will satisfy. out of here knowing what to do with filthy garments. Jesus knew what to do with Peter who denied him three times. 
Thomas who doubted. When you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, all we see is human beings full of mistakes and sometimes even sins. And God knew what to do with all of them. The church knew what to do with them. That is why he said, restore those who have fallen in the spirit of meekness. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your presence is heaven to me. So treasure of my heart and of my soul, sit down. In my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong, you are the holder, say it. Treasure of my heart, treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, say, yeah. in my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer, say, yeah. Redeemer of my past and present wrongs. You are the holder, say, yeah. holder of my future days to come. Your presence, your presence, say it. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven. I'm from Pomal Kasirko. I want to be a teacher. The time I wrote my BC, my parents couldn't afford for me to go to the senior high. Our pastor Barnabas, I, he was normally talking to me that I shouldn't have fit, but anything I need, I should come to him so that he will help me. From there, that I now get help from Isuta Nawa Ministry who is taking care of me. They are paying my school fees, doing everything for me. I want to say, God bless our daddy, Isud Anava, and mommy, Rosemary. Thank you, Isud Anava Ministry. They said these are the two anointed ones that stand by the God of the whole earth. I was expecting to see somebody without any opposition, somebody without any satanic attack. I was expecting to see an impeccable man, but when I looked, he was wearing filthy garments. Oh, Jesus. The most anointed of a human being is still a human being. He's not an angel. And he may never be. He may never be. I see you today.
because you are obeying the will of God, you will never be intimidated by anybody. Nobody will put fear in you. I see you among the white. I see you among the Chinese. I see you among the Korean. The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. I see you go anywhere and nobody intimidates you. Listen, if you keep the charge, he will cause you to walk among those that stand back. When God gave me that command, it looked like a punishment. When he gave me the mandate, it looked like a punishment. When he said, I'm giving you a mandate, I want you to say in Bogatanga, don't go anywhere. It looked like a punishment. Sometimes we go into a hotel, we are in the hotel eight days. I haven't seen a black man there. I said, Pearl, have you noticed since we came here, no black man? The other day we sat in a plane, me and mommy were sitting. Every white man came, they were going back. They were going back, they were passing us like that. Me and mommy were sitting. I said, Pearl, you're baby, you're <laughs> Jack, and you're free burger pan, and you're bought to say, me that. Hey, who is it? Oh, you're a promoter. Oh, she, who feels that we're near to it? Sometimes, who feels that we're near to it? Anaba! And listen, I want you to mention your own name and say one. Say seven times. You meet some people. Your name, my name is Philip Osei Anaba. Where did you get the Anaba from? Oh, the earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. One day in Bogatanga, they made plenty gates with the EAM logo on the gate because they thought it was a style. They saw it in front of a house and they copied it. So Pastor Mike and Co went to him and they said, Why do you copy EAM logo? They said, No, it's not EAM, that's the new style in Kumase. Empty me logo crowd and style. Listen, if you obey God, if you follow God, if you do the will of God, if He sent you to a hole and you'll be there, if He sent you to Jerusalem and you'll be there, He will make you to walk in your places among those that stand by. Come on, give a big clap offering and a shout of victory unto God. Your mandate. Sit down. Oh, Jesus, the sons of oil, they are men wandered at. Because who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain? They are men wandered at. Mountains move before them. These are the people that stand before God and they offer sacrifices to the God of heaven, and the God of heaven receives it. They are men wandered at. May you be the one your family will wonder at. The one your town will wonder at. The one the nation will wonder at. May they look at you with wonder. May they look at you with wonder. May they look at you and say, what is this? Who is this? How is this? May people look at you and say, how? When? How? When? Who? How? When? How? What? Who? How? When? Who? What? How? Who? When? 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 How? What? Who? How? How? How did this happen? Where did this happen? Who is this? Who is that? What happened? How? 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 It's not possible. She cannot be the one. He cannot be the one. They cannot be the ones. May they look at you and wonder. I see a wonder. I see a wonder. You are a wonder in your family. Men and women will look at you and wonder at you. They said, these are men wondered at. It means they are signs. They are signs. They are signs of the branch that is to come. For behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch. That means this Joshua and this Zerubbabel are wonders. They are signs of the Christ who is to come. Because the Christ is the branch. He said, when you see Zerubbabel, when you see Joshua, they are men who are signs. I came to tell somebody, you are a phenomenon. Pastor, Reverend Daniel was talking about a brand. 
But the thing about the men of God of our time is that they are more than brands. They are wonders. These are phenomenon. They, they are wonders. You look at them and you are like, how? 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 What? How? What? The way they think. The way they think. Their vision. Their sense of attraction. The force they carry. The things they can do. You are like, how? I'm prophesying to somebody who is a son of oil. Listen, right now, you were wearing dirty garments. But the garments have been changed. Now get ready to become a wonder. I said get ready to become a wonder. People will see you and open their mouth. They'll be like, she cannot be the one. He cannot be the one. Anybody that is shouting, your blessing is coming upon you. Anyone that is shouting, your blessing is coming upon you. Anyone that is shouting, your blessing is coming upon you. Come on, scream! Bow, Jesus. to reposition the body of Christ for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. We educate, we empower, we engage them in activities like this. And also we take care of people that are deprived and we give back to the society whatever we also receive. If your toothbrush is the hard type, you will not be able to brush your gum. You can't brush the tank. You can only brush the teeth because when you brush the tank, it will injure the tank. When you bring the gum to, you will full pay. What we are doing today is one of the ways by which we are helping to take care of the people of Ghana, especially with children. We know that when you train up a child in the way that he should go, he will not depart from it. The reason why we embarked on this oral health program is because we realize that the incidence of dental diseases have increased a lot in our nation. And so we felt that there is a need to create awareness, especially amongst the growing children, so that they will be able to foster a lot of these diseases that are showing up in our country today. Partners of EM have also contributed. Join us in Isuanaba Ministry. We will be a blessing to other people. We are blessed to have Isuanaba Ministries here. Parents wake up in the morning, they leave them and then they go to work. They have little time for their appearance and then their oral health. With this first move by East Budanaba Ministries, the parents will take it upon themselves to check their children, especially their dental and oral care, so that it wouldn't aggravate till they get to the hospital. We can do something about it. And it would go a long way to help the children. I will advise parents every now and then they should be able to get their children to open up their mouth so that they can examine to be sure that everything is okay, their teeth are white and then also to brush their teeth before they go to bed and even in the mornings. Not only that, but we do it effectively. You to brush, and then you start from the top. Then you angulate the brush at 45 degrees between the two and the gap at which you tilt the brush is very very important and for many people even brushing the tongue is a problem and so we came here to teach these things so that these children can grow up first and foremost with self-confidence there are many people who lack confidence because when they open their mouth maybe they have halitosis or bad breath or the color of their teeth is not good and so they lose many good opportunities but when we get them at this stage and they grow up with these principles, then we can be sure that our nation is going to be better. At first, I didn't even know how to brush my teeth. I just take my brush and brush it anyhow. But now I know how to go about it. I know how to brush my teeth, but now I've learned more about how to brush my teeth. I thank Ishmael Anaba Ministry for all the gifts God blessed them.